on a 42-inch gas pipeline met a historical Thai Burma railway track in Kanchanaburi. This video beyond other information includes pictures of my visit to Wat Phu Tak Yan and the Adana gas pipeline, a kilometer 94.2 on the 7th of July 2022. Since I was during the years of 97 and 98 responsible as project director to build the 42 in Yadana 240 km long Yadana gas pipeline, I have a lot of memories of Kanchanaburi. I visited pipeline kilometer 94.2 to see how the area looked 25 years after we did the construction there. This is the location where we encountered some problems at the end of May in 1997 with a historical railway crossing when we were building the Yadana gas pipeline. On the way, I also stopped by Wat Phu Tak Yan to revisit the historical railway, which is located behind the Wat, and the old railway trucks were restored. It is quite fascinating to see the old restored railway area behind the Wat, as it still reflects some of the reality of how the rail track looked during World War II in the year 1943. When one sees this old railway it's quite different from the famous River Kwai Bridge that was built by prisoners of war as the entire railway and was finished in April 1943 in the city of Kanchanaburi. I have added a video showcasing the stunning lights and sounds festival at the River Kwai Bridge. Each year, the town of Kanchanaburi hosts a festival to pay tribute to the Allied prisoners of war and Asian laborers who were coerced by the Japanese army to construct the notorious Death Railway during World War II. The festival culminates each evening with a reenactment of the bombing of the River Kwai Bridge, accompanied by a breathtaking fireworks display that illuminates the night sky with vibrant bursts of light. During my time in Kanchanaburi, I organized a trip for our entire office to witness this spectacle from a floating barge on 4 December 1997, and it was truly a memorable experience. Upon entering the Wat, visitors will notice a stack of old wooden railway sleepers on the right side, as depicted in the picture. Access to the restored railway truck is gained by ascending a wooden staircase approximately 10 meters in height. Once there, visitors can explore and walk along the 50-meter-long railway section. 
during our pipeline construction near Highway 323 over a 32.2 km stretch, we unknowingly buried the Giordana pipeline six times beneath an old Thai Burma historical railway. It's worth noting that all the steel rails and wooden sleepers in this entire area were removed after the Second World War. At pipeline kilometer 94.2 our work was obstructed by a railway enthusiast. At this location, the pipeline crosses the old historical Thai Burma railway track, which was only to be seen by some old stones on the steep hill that we had to pass, and it was not indicated on the construction drawing. This railway enthusiast got the ridiculous idea that we should drill underneath this old railway track, and Nova Gas supported this and stopped our work with instruction number 24, issued on 31 May 1997. However, this stop was for nothing because months later, we carried out our work as we intended it to do the first time that means we installed the pipeline in our normal open cut construction method, we refurbished the old track with its stones, and this was the end of this story that had cost only money and some disruption. I have to say that I know the area, and this is a place where hardly anybody can walk due to the steep hill and the wild vegetation that is growing there. This is not something like the Hellfire Pass where you can go with your family to see the sad railway history. It is deep remoteness and only for people looking for an adventure and in reality, you will see hardly anything. During our pipeline work, we excavated quite some big holes in the 32.2 km long pipeline stretch in close vicinity of the historical railway. The total excavation of earth material from pipeline trenches amounted to 1,023,000 cubic meters. I do not know what kind of relics our pipeline crews found in this area, but as far as I know, we did not find any of the Japanese gold that some Japanese soldiers allegedly buried somewhere around the old railway track, or they have hidden it in caves. This means that the hope still exists that one day somebody will find the Second World War Japanese gold here in Thailand, around the area of the old Thai Burma Railway. The photo depicts me standing at the pipeline sign located at pipeline kilometer 94.2, in the field below a steep slope. The area where the pipeline intersects the old railway track is completely overgrown with trees and bushes, making it inaccessible, especially for me as an old man. The surrounding mountain area is beautiful and provides us with a nice view in the direction of Burma from the platform installed by the Wat. If you plan to visit this particular area of the historic railway, you should use a four-wheel drive car or a motorcycle. The farmer has opened the gate, so you can now drive through and proceed slowly to pipeline marker 94 plus 264. Even without GPS, you can be certain that when you reach the pipeline, the distance to the railway crossing is 100 meters to the north. Please be cautious as there may be snakes if you decide to climb up the hill. Thank you.